Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I'm going to discuss a very, very, very important trick of thermodynamics. Not only just one trick, we are going to talk about different tricks. Okay, more than one trick basically we are going to consider in this video today, which will help you to memorize the very important expressions of thermodynamics very easily. Even you will not have to put extra efforts to memorize them. So we will talk about that trick now, okay, or all the related tricks related to the concept I'm going to discuss today. Uh, but before that, quickly, let me just provide you one more information. Okay, as you all know, now the new month is going to start along with this new year. So first of all, a very happy new year to all of you guys. Now, the point is, since in this month, okay, that means in January, we are going to have many new Unacademy Plus courses which are going to start on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming CSIR net as well as for the gate physics exam preparation. So if you are someone who were who was waiting for like the new courses and who want to start, start attending the sessions from the starting, then guys, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription now. Also, guys, as you all know that you can also use and apply the referral code, which is Anjali Aurora to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. No space in between. Spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. The another thing is like from 4th January, there can be a price hike for the Unacademy plus subscription amount. So if you are planning to take the subscription and if you want to attend the live classes of well-structured and the well-planned courses, which are starting now, these are the new batches. This are, these are the new courses, okay, for your upcoming exams preparation by all the top educators. These courses are going to start now, okay. So then to attend these sessions, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and you can use and apply the referral code that is Anshali Arora. As mentioned here, no space in between, spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it. So this was like something important information related to Unacademy Plus courses. And as all these new courses are going to start right now, okay, in the starting of this month, so you will even not miss any of the sessions now and you can attend the sessions from the starting. So you can just plan it and you can take the subscription if you want to attend all these important courses and the classes, okay, and you want to get the guidance by all the top educators. And whenever you are going to take the subscription, you can use and apply the referral code, which is Anjali Arora, as mentioned here, okay to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. Now let's uh, start the discussion about the trick which we are going to discuss in this session today. One more thing guys, that if you are already like you have already watched the sessions which I have uploaded on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam, you may be familiar with this trick. Also, if you are new on this channel, you need to know about this trick. And if you have already watched that session, okay, in which we have discussed the trick, you can revise it with this video today. Okay, so don't worry about it because revision is something which is very, very, very important. So this session is going to be for all of you guys. Done? Now, let's talk about the trick. And as I've told you, I'm going to discuss it in such a way that you will find it very, very, very easy and you will not have to put extra efforts to memorize the expressions. So the first thing I'm going to give you is a statement right now. What is that statement? That is great physicist have studied under very fine teachers. Now what you have to do with this statement, so if you want to make it more uh, interesting, more easy for you, you can consider it like the lyrics of a song and you can make your own song with this statement, okay? And make the tone, just sing it, repeat it twice or thrice, okay? And then sing that song because I want you to get familiar with this statement. And if you just want to read it, it's up to you, you can do that too, okay? Now, what this statement is gonna let you know. So every a uh, word's first alphabet is going to tell you something related to the thermodynamic parameter. Okay, thermodynamics parameter. So it's uh, going to be the first one is the Gibbs free energy. Okay, this one is representing, G is representing the Gibbs free energy. Clear? 
gives free energy that's important clear you should know about the symbols and their meaning what they are representing exactly p represents the pressure clear h represents the enthalpy done s represents the entropy u represents the internal energy V represents the volume. F here is the almost free energy. Okay. And T represents the temperature. Clear? Now, what you need to know further? There is a like a structure we have to make to know about the trick. And with this structure, we are going to make two different uh, tricks, two different type of formula we are going to prepare. So what is that structure and how you will get to know about the two different formula? Let's talk about that thing now. So first of all, let's make the structure. We will create a story, okay, uh, to know about the presence of the like alphabets or different parameters at different positions. So if I'm going to consider it in this manner. This is the type of a structure you will make first. Okay. Now let's say this is a building. Okay. And there is going to be one entrance point of the building. So this is going to be the basement area. Okay. This is what? This is the basement area. Clear. This is going to be, let's say, just a second. Basement area. This is going to be the ground floor. Okay. And on the ground floor, there is the entrance. Clear? And this one is gonna be the above one which is first floor. Clear? Now what we will do with this information? We are just gonna consider the things in such a way that if the entrance or entry of the ground uh, is from the ground floor that means here. So you will start writing the alphabets from this position. And the preference anybody will give to, uh, to take or to rent the flat or anything like that okay if they want to consider so they will give the preference to the first floor area done so what we will do we are going to start writing it from the ground floor and then we will move upward and then that's how we'll go up from here from this side and then we will go down from this side so that's how you can consider the direction okay or you can consider where you have to put a particular parameter so if i'm going to write it from here it's going to be great physicist have studied under very fine teachers okay so this is how you will be able to fill it now the point is there is one more thing here in this structure let's say there is a slide at this point okay slide slide means if somebody is gonna sit here they can reach very easily to the lower point that is the diagonally opposite uh, to this P okay if we are gonna move diagonally in the opposite direction that is V so you will move or you will reach easily this side because there is a slide so it is a positive way or you can say positive aspect because slide is there but again if somebody will ask you to move from V to P will it be easy no you may slip down from here and it will be more more time taking okay so that's how it's not a good aspect or good way okay of considering the thing so what we will do if somebody is moving from the um, upper corner to the lower one diagonally in the opposite direction we will take it with the positive sign okay we will denote it with the positive sign while the opposite one that is lower point to the higher one okay and that's to diagonally then you will take it negative clear in same way this side if this is the direction of motion positive and the other one opposite then negative i hope that the story will be clear to all of you this is like first time if you are going to consider the trick it may be this much time taking but next time when you are going to make it on your own you will not have to devote such like so much time in that case done now if i'm going to talk about the first expression or the first kind of expression we are going to write here will be let's say these center ones i'm going to write the formula for them so what it will be dh du df dg the center ones only i have noted down like this okay what i need to do next next thing will be that 
what are the neighbors of these parameters so you can see neighbors of h are p and s so write them in the same way because company does affect so that means the effect or the presence of h as it is present here okay will affect its neighbors too so you will write dp and ds like this okay now next thing if you are going to move diagonally in the opposite direction in this manner you will have v you will reach to v and you are moving downward direction so that means it's going to be positive while ds to t diagonally in the opposite direction when you are going to move you will uh, be moving in a direction which is going to have a positive aspect as slide is there so easily you can reach to the next or the opposite corner so you will take the t here and that's to with a positive sign clear now again du when you are writing here you have to consider ds and db clear its neighbors done now opposite direction diagonally in the opposite direction when you are moving up to down so that's positive because somebody will sit here and slide down easily in very less time they will reach to that point so again t we are reaching to t v2 opposite direction so v2 when you will start moving you will go in this way and that's p you are reaching to so that is negative because from the lower point to the higher point in this manner if somebody wants to move what they will do they will try to just move on that slide and it will be like they can slip down they can get hurt or it will be very much time taking so it's a negative aspect when we need to move in that direction so negative sign okay next one f neighbors t and v same way you will write it dt and dv okay t to opposite direction you will reach to s which is again upward direction so minus s t t v to opposite direction p so minus p because it's upward you are moving from the lower point okay next dg is there dg neighbors are dt and dp so dt and dp that's how you will write them now t2 opposite diagonally opposite so you will write minus s because you are moving from lower to the higher point then dp you will move in the opposite diagonally in the opposite direction it's going to be v so higher point to the lower point it means positive sign this is how you can write the trick is like you can write the expressions with the trick easily and it will be quite easy for all of you now to consider it the another trick is going to tell you about the maxwell's relation or equation how the things will work in that case in thermodynamics we are going to have the maxwell's relations okay but to write those expressions you will have to consider the things in this manner first of all you will have to trace the right angle triangle clear in this way so let's say you have started from this point that means corner like you are going to have the structure okay what are the corner parameters so p then s then v so you will write it like this p s and v done so you have moved from p to s and s to v you can see it is clockwise direction motion clear now you have started from p and you are reaching to v so what will happen in this case it's going to be delta p upon delta s at constant v okay delta p upon delta s second point at constant v you have moved from the higher point to the lower point so positive sign there that will be equal to whatever point has been like here the pre it will be present here at the last corner that is t so write it at this point t you will move in the opposite direction now which means anti clockwise so start moving from here move till this v so you are right uh, reaching to v it means delta t upon delta v okay and the third point will be s because you need to create the complete right angle triangle so s now you have started from t and you are reaching to s so it is in the upward direction what will happen in this case it's going to be negative sign why because when slide is there you can reach easily to the downward direction in this manner but when the slide is there okay again you need to move in the upward direction it will be time taking you will have to do more efforts okay and even you can get hurt because if you will slip down it will be like not a good situation clear so that's how if we are going to consider the sign it's negative this is first maxwell's a uh, relation we have got okay in the same way if i'm going to work on one more here in the same way so let's say you are starting moving from s so s to v then to t so delta s upon delta v at constant t you moved from the higher point to the lower point in this manner so it's going to be positive sign you will take there okay that will be equal to let's say here is the p now the remaining point move in the other direction so you have taken this direction right now 
now p2 anti clockwise which means in the opposite direction p2 t delta p upon delta t at constant v okay p2 t and t2 v which means in this way downward direction again okay which means positive so that's how you will get both the positive sign in this case and in the same way now next time you will start from v then next time you will start from t so already here we have started from p now we have started from s next time you will start from v next time you will start from t and that's how you will get the four relations here and this is how this trick is going to help you to get the answer uh, or the equations of four different type like of or all the four maxwell's relations okay so i hope everything will be clear to all of you one more trick we are having in thermodynamics part we will try to consider it in like some other session too it is different one it's not exactly same in this sequence with this structure we are having these two different type of equations which you can write easily i hope everything will be clear to all of you now and guys uh, for uh, watching more more very important videos on this channel that is mission net physics exam you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video also guys you can share such important videos with all your friends to let them know about these tricks too so that the topics will become easy for them as well thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end also guys as i have provided you this information in the starting that if you are planning or if you want to take the unacademy plus subscription to attend the live classes of well structured and well planned courses by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exams preparation then you can take the unacademy plus subscription okay and guys there can be a price hike for the unacademy plus subscription amount from 4 january so before that you can take the subscription okay to beat the price hike Also, guys, uh, like whenever you are going to take the subscription, you can use and apply the referral code, which is Anshli Arora, as mentioned here. No space in between. The spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it to get the ten percent discount in the total An Academy Plus subscription amount. Many new courses are going to start in January now from the starting. Clear. So new batches, new courses by all the top educators are going to start. Okay, don't miss this opportunity uh, to prepare for your upcoming gate exam as well as for CSIR Net Physics exam. Okay, you can attend all these important session by all the top educators. So if you want to attend these sessions, you can take the subscription. And whenever you are going to take the subscription, uh, you can use and apply the referral code, which is Anshli Arora, as mentioned here. No space in between. The spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it. Uh, Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you